the actress, 52, on starring in a thriller stage play, running away to join the circus and her friends from EastEnders. You and Adam Wood Yard are back playing husband and wife again. It's deja vu but I couldn't be happier. Adam and I always had a certain chemistry from day one when we first started working together in EastEnders. I think that's why Jane and Ian Beale lasted so long. We've stayed in touch over the four years since I left the show. Working with Adam is always a pleasure. We know what each other is thinking, whereas with some people it's not so easy. Whose idea was it for you to join him on stage? Probably Adam suggested it. I've worked with the producer before when I was in the stage adaptation of Kay Mellor's Band of Gold. I'm sure they put their heads together and came up with me. My daughter is ten and I'm aware that I've only got a couple of years before there'll be doors slamming in my face. I want to make the most of this opportunity to be around her while she still wants me to be. What's the story of Looking Good Dead? It's a crime thriller. Tom and Kelly Bryce are a pretty normal married couple and Tom finds a memory stick on the seat of a train. He brings it home and with good intentions tries to find out what's on it, but that takes them on a roller coaster journey. Tom inadvertently becomes witness to a murder. Things escalate and he and his family end up in danger. There are lots of ups and downs and twists. I can normally always tell who done it but I didn't get this. Do you enjoy a good murder mystery? It's a genre that the public absolutely love and I'm one of them. I can't wait for the next crime drama to come out. It broke my heart when Line of Duty finished. How different are your characters Tom and Kelly to Ian and Jane Beale? It's inevitable that people will say, oh, it's Ian and Jane on stage. There are similarities between all couples who have been married a long time. However, the characters are quite different. Jane was a doer but Kelly is an unfulfilled woman. She doesn't work and she's missed a lot of her potential. And Tom is a lot stronger character than Ian. Would you ever go back to East Tenders? I loved Jane and I loved working there and it would be like putting on an old pair of slippers. If I was free, and they wanted me back, who knows? If you've not been killed off then there's always the possibility of a return. I have nothing but great memories of that show and the viewers took Jane into their hearts. She was an every woman. Why did you leave? The workload got on top of me. I'd left, had a baby and then went back when she was four months old. I left EastEnders and went to Waterloo Road. Then I was doing both EastEnders and Waterloo Road and I think I burnt out. My daughter was growing up and by the time she was six she was saying, I don't want you to go to work, mummy. I had to get a bit of work slash life balance. Now Adam has left. Nobody knows where Ian Beale has gone but if he's anywhere he's with Jane. They're probably in Florida having a great time. Is it true you started out in a traveling circus? I was a dancer and I saw an advert in the stage newspaper for a job with a traveling circus. I was only 17. We went to Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, El Salvador, and Costa Rica. I was working as a dancer and a magician's assistant. I was away for just under a year and there was war going on in some of the countries we visited but I was too excited to get homesick. I came back a totally different person. I'm a great advocate of travel. How did you get spotted for EastEnders? The casting director saw me when I was the understudy for Madame Dana J in Les Miserables in the West End. She asked me to go in. Eight auditions later, I got the job of Jane Beale. Who have you kept in touch with from EastEnders? Adam, obviously, and I'm very good friends with Letitia Dean. I've stayed in contact with Shane Ritchie and I've been out with Jesse Wallace a few times. But it's the same with any job, you're thick as thieves and then you move to another job and you make another set of mates. What's on your bucket list? To go on a Norwegian cruise with my daughter and see the Northern Lights. I've always wanted that to be a memory for her and me, and one that when I'm no longer here she will remember. 